friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is fikam specification of a soft contract this is a totally unedited recording let us observe this surgery after applying few drops of povidon iodine over the ocular surface the ocular surface is thoroughly irrigated by ringolactate or bss and now the main incision is placed at around 11 o'clock this is a 2.8 mm incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus with a steel keratom this is a bit of phenocaine which contains phenylephrine tropicamide and jalocaine and then the antechamber is filled up with 2% spmc we can see cycle spoke pattern of the lens mass this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away when you place the side port 3 clock hours away the astigmatism induced by the main incision is neutralized to some extent by the side port and now capsulorexis is being done with the help of uh, utrita forceps this rexis is a bit eccentric it is not central but it doesn't matter the lens will be nicely centered now hydro dissection is done and a bit of hydro delineation is attempted the nucleus is mobile now some more visco and now is the time to introduce the phaco probe in the anterior chamber and before that this is pre-chopping of the lens mass this pre-chopper has been designed by dr sohil irfan khan from nandit maharashtra and i'm using this instrument for soft cataracts nowadays no financial interest but i find this instrument very useful particularly for soft cataracts some more visco the lens has been divided into two halves two heminuclei and now the tip of the phaco needle goes in this is a 2.8 millimeter tip some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now see once the nucleus is divided into two halves not in and the halves are not further divided see how easily one half floats and you can emulsify the heminucleus it happens in soft contacts in hard contacts we have to divide the heminucleus into smaller pieces and this is the other heminucleus and it is emulsified and removed in no time I tried to remove the cortex by the phaco needle itself then I found I thought that it may be dangerous and I just came out this is the direction of your instinct if your instinct says that it is going to be dangerous just don't do it so I came out and this is a 23 gauze Simco cannula a very safe instrument and very beautifully we can remove the cortex by this instrument it may take a few seconds more than bimanual IA or coaxial IA but it is safer than the automated methods and here it is the cortex is nicely cleaned posterior capsule is clear there are no cells sticking to the posterior capsule and it is nice and now I'm going to enlarge the main wound a small bit because I'm going to use a B cartridge and if I don't do this implantation of the intraocular lens may be difficult 
the lens may get stuck at the wound yes here it is the lens has gone in the capsular bag there are some cortex in the lumen of the cartilage the cortex is removed by the uh, there are some visco in the lumen of the cartilage and though that visco is being removed by irrigation the lens has been oriented at 1 o'clock 7 o'clock meridian and now this is a bit of moxi moxi fluxosin the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma we are towards the end of this surgery so the side port has been closed and now a final lavage of the anterior chamber if we do this then risk of developing tars is minimized you can inject moxie at the end also after this step and now integrity of all the wounds are checked few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention this was a routine surgery but routine surgery is not to be neglected we must do routine surgery with more command and with more safety and in this way we can give very good results to our patients